latest COVID variant, Omicron. Is this the last? Should we panic when the BTI oil price fell to a percent? Just to recap what happened in 2020, Shenzhen index fell approximately 14% in January 2020. Shanghai index also fell approximately 14% during this period. Nasdaq 100 actually fell later by one month compared to the Chinese market falling around 30% in February to March. In 2020, we are in a jittery period because it's very sensitive since Federal Reserve is tapering the asset purchase program, which is starting in November 2021. Will history repeat itself with a 30% fall for the US market? Well, we really need to have a better understanding of the latest COVID variant before anyone can make this call. Now, the question to ask ourselves is why didn't market panic when Delta variant happened since December 2020? And this Delta variant was first identified in the US in March 2021. And it's also a variant of concern. So you actually take a look in 2021. What happened to result in the fall in Nasdaq 100 was more a case of faster possible interest rate hike as well as Bill Huan saga. I look at the tech stocks and tech index because even if COVID is an issue, tech is likely to benefit from this incident. And COVID is simply good news for our selected tech stocks, but faster rate hike isn't that kind to tech stocks. The good news for Chinese tech stock is it's already been so low given that it has fallen so much. So my top process is that even if it fall, it shouldn't fall so much as compared to the US counterparts. One thing to note is that vaccination is still effective against Delta and this is something that scientists has continued to emphasize and that vaccination is the best protection against COVID. Now developed nations also look at death rate and ICU capacity utilization as a key metric before they decide whether to close or to open up their economies. So going to show you what a Chinese as well as the South African experts have commented on the latest variant. Looking at the mildness of the symptoms that we are seeing, currently there is no reason for panicking as we don't see severely ill patients. Now, what the World Health Organization say of the Omicron variant is a variant of concern, definitely. Possibly transmissibility increase and possibly evasion of immune response. We don't know that for sure right now. This is really something that's in, in motion and, and, and we just uh, arranged right now. The key question to ask now is whether the new variant can evade the body's immune system even after vaccination. But like what Zhong Nan San, the Chinese experts say, I think it's too early to make a call on this. Just that Israel right now has taken a two-week window to ban any travel. It's more to use these two weeks to have a better understanding of this COVID variant. So if the current vaccination does not work, the forward plan is on the timeline for an updated vaccine. The best case right now is for the current vaccinations to work, but maybe at the reduced effectiveness, just like what it had done for the Delta variant. And on the worst case scenario, it could be a three months wait for an updated vaccine. What could happen? I expect central banks around the world to respond fast enough, given that they have last year experience, to address the worst case scenario. My thoughts, even if the latest period is more infections and current vaccine doesn't work that well, as long as the death rate and ICU utilization rate remain under control, I believe the Federal Reserve will still put a break to its asset tapering program and at the same time injecting more liquidity into the system if such a scenario happened. What's my strategy for myself? Approach the markets with portfolio management approach with cash on the sideline and always manage risk without being too aggressive right now. I also would not panic but will continue to pick good tech stocks if discount emerges for such good tech stocks. As always, this should not be construed as any investment or trading advice. Do stay tuned and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that I can be kept updated pony when I release new videos to reflect the changing market conditions.